This is gonna be a great opening to this movie. This... This is the closing? What's up everybody, Jared here, and I'm back from Star Wars Celebration. It was so much fun, hopefully I can throw together a, a, a video of kind of what I experienced, what I saw, how much fun it was, but I'm back in it with some more movie reviews. Yesterday I went out and saw the new anti-hero supernatural David Harbour film. Hellboy. Hellboy, caught between the worlds of supernatural and human, battles an ancient sorceress bent on revenge. So does Hellboy bring all of the fire and fury you were hoping for? Let's find out. But before we get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Hellboy in the comments down below. Does this one rival the Del Toro films, or did it fizzle out quickly? Now let's get into some of the good. I was pumped for this Hellboy remake, you know, from the first trailer with Moni Moni, a lot of action, a lot of funny bits, and then the second one with this, like, hellish rendition of Smoke on the Water. Like, I was pumped. I was in on this movie. But, wow. Seriously, wow. Let me start with the positives, if there are any. I'll give a nod to the music, the soundtrack that was in this Hellboy movie. I mean, it didn't live up to the two songs that were in the trailers, Moni Moni, and then Smoke on the Water, but it did have kind of some more guitar stuff, some heavy metal, some punk, stuff that really kind of gave this movie somewhat of a personality. I mean, whether it was some guitar shredding, a Spanish version of Rock You Like a Hurricane, or Motley Crue's Kickstart Your Heart, or My Heart, like that gave like these jump cutty fights and other transitions and other parts of the movie, you know, some fun stuff to really grasp onto, your head, your bobbing your head. There was something there. However, any sort of positive pretty much book ends there. Like, the rest of this movie is just a catastrophe. I have no idea what happened with the filmmaking, how this was structured into such a clunky film. From the hype of the trailers and the music, I was bamboozled. Like, this movie is strictly exposition, rough dialogue, and it kind of expects you to know exactly what is happening on screen, and you haven't a damn clue what the pun intended hell is going on. The opening scene is strictly exposition being like, hey, there's this evil queen. She's going to conquer the world. They had to d put her away in these boxes. Uh, she's going to come back, like blah, blah, blah. And it's not just the opening five minutes of this exposition explaining what is going on. It's pretty much the whole film. I feel like they could have potentially left some of the scenes just to play out. You could have inferred what was going on, but I don't know if it was too inside Hellboy for people to really grasp onto. And as I mentioned, things happen in this movie just for the sake of really happening. Like the first 45 minutes of the Hellboy character, his journey, the things he's doing, it really has no impact on what this movie is really about. Like, honestly, a lot of this movie, I think it's like a two hour movie, about an hour of this movie has nothing to do with what this movie is ultimately about, how this movie ends. It's like they wanted to set up all of this stuff for an eventual follow-up, a sequel, and not have to explain it in that one, but honestly, this one fell so flat, they're not gonna get a sequel. Now, getting into the technical side of Hellboy, it was rough to watch. I mean, this is a very special effects heavy film. There's a lot of action scenes, a lot of monsters, a lot of just destruction and stuff like that but this movie the special effects for a lot of the monsters a lot of the effects some of the visual facial stuff felt like it was straight out of 2004's van helsing it was great in that movie because it came out 15 years ago this one not so much it was jarring it was clunky the movements of these cg special effect characters didn't move smoothly it was it was it was rough and there's even one sequence where it's like this giant hell landscape that looked like it was straight out of a video game, but the video game would have looked better. Lastly, the editing of Hellboy was horrendous, just adding that cherry to the top of this dumpster fire. Again, this is an action-packed, driven film. There's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of shooting, and the editing is so jump-cutty, like, you can't even tell who's fighting who, what is exactly happening, who is the winner at the end of this fight. A lot of the scenes had this cool kind of stuff going on, but it was just cutting so much, it was almost borderline nauseating, you can't tell what's going on, and it was just, it was a disaster. I'm surprised that with a movie with such, I wouldn't say a high budget, with, but with a movie this much of a budget, 
to have this bad of editing. Overall, Hellboy is like that guy or gal you see at the bar from afar, they're beautiful, they have this cool demeanor to them, but afterwards you're disappointed and you have herpes. With some solid soundtrack choices, but with loads of exposition, no rhyme or reason for certain things happening, some rough and dated special effects, and some clunky editing, I would definitely skip out on Hellboy. I'm not exactly sure what happened here, what happened to the film, what happened behind the scenes, but the flame fizzles out. In closing, I'm going to give Hellboy one out of five flaming dumpsters. So what did you guys think of Hellboy? I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos over there, you know, movie reviews, trailer reactions. I just dropped my Game of Thrones explained poorly. I have no idea what that series is about. Check it out over there. Follow all of my social media stuff down there. Click that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. Stay up to date on this channel's newest content. And until next time, I'll see you later.